Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Aries. Hey Aries! I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with your individual energy. Alright, I'm going to pull these. Haven't used them in a while. As always, I do shuffle them. Oh shit, I'm going to shuffle them again. Aries. Aries. Mm. What's your energy, Aries? What's going on, Aries? Aries, where are you right now? What are you feeling? What's your situation? What's your situation at the moment? Goddess of Morning. Uh, Aries, I see that you are focused on your creativity. I feel like you might be a little bit more friendly. You're communicating more. I mean, you're already friendly, right? Funny, friendly. I'm also showing that your artistic creativity is, is like through the roof, right? I see that there's some element of spirituality with you guys. I feel like you are seeking the truth and analyzing some situations that have to do with... Um, you know what your next move is so I feel like there's something spiritual I feel like to an extent some of you guys could be trying to perfect something now really I don't know if you're trying to perfect it I feel like you're trying to come to a point where you are content with something something where you I feel comfortable enough with uh, my effort put in where I can now move on to the next step right or maybe some of you guys are holding on to something that once worked and now it doesn't work anymore right um so if that is the case some of you guys could be looking for renewal I see that you guys could be completing something but I also see that it is the end of a cycle here so when there's an end of a cycle what does that mean new beginnings now we're going to take a look and see what comes up next for you what else do we have for Aries Aries the goddess of protection so Aries, what I'm showing here is there's something having to do with your foundations, like you want to feel secure. And I feel like you are dependable. I feel like you're the one who's trustworthy. I feel like you're the one who's always there for everybody, right? I see something about loyalty is very important to you. I also see here that, again, this has to do with your creativity, all right? You communicating effectively. There's a lot about communication here, and I feel like you guys are going in deep within because I see spirituality again. You guys are seeking the truth. This is about reflection, assessment, and control. This is about you being a truth seeker, being analytical. So it just backs up. There's a lot of thinking here. Mm hmm. Interesting. One more, please. Give me one more. If it's goddess of protection, I want to be protected. Goddess of difficulties. Now, for some of you guys, you are questioning your foundations, right? You're looking for stability in a situation. You are looking to stay dependable. I feel like for some of you guys, I want to be dependable, but I feel like there's something here that needs to be addressed. I'm having some difficulties, right? I feel like some of you guys are looking for a new beginning, but it's not after. It, it comes after the changes. I see here that there's some sort of change that you might be rejecting. I feel like there's a rejection of change. Um, I also feel like you are trying to accept the fact that something needs to change and you're looking to accept it by, I guess, focusing on the more adventurous side of it. Like, yeah, I mean, this is bad, but it could be fun, right? I'm showing that you're adaptable. I feel like during these changes and these difficulties, you're actually being fun loving. All right. I feel like you guys are being daring. You're like, you know what? If I got to go through this, I may as well have some fun doing it. Right. So I do see there is something here where you guys are looking for a new beginning and something that you recognize is difficult for you. All right. And that's what I feel like you guys are being protected from. Give me one more. But it's, it's basically the way you look at the situation is your protection. You can choose to focus on the good side, focus on or choose to focus on the bad side. If you guys go with it and you're like you know what no depend let us let me be clear about that i'm not saying go with it i think you guys know me by now within reason of course um then you need to go with it right um this is also goddess of loyalty so again this is talking about you guys this is something having to do with partnership something with you guys looking to get a new beginning i see here that you guys are going to take some kind of action towards something which is a new beginning here with the goddess of loyalty um you know, I feel like you guys are looking for balance, but I also feel like in terms of your, your opinions, you're looking to be a little bit more diplomatic. I feel like you guys are being supportive. As a matter of fact, these cards do talk a lot about you being loyal to other people, which is, that's awesome, right? Uh, manifestation. Some of you guys are entrepreneurs. Some of you guys are authoritative entrepreneurs. Some of you guys are very charismatic, right? So it comes across with ease. Yes, I'm bossy, but I say it nicely. 
<laughs> However you say it, it's endearing, and I think people get that about you. So, you know, people, people like being around you. But there are some difficulties for you. I don't know what this is about, but let's take a look at the first card that comes up. There's something having to do with the Three of Pentacles reversed here for you, Aries. Now, this is about being hyper-focused, right? Or there may be something that you are not looking at the bigger, the, the bigger picture. So if there's a situation and you're really focused on this one detail, there's a possibility that you're not seeing that, I, yeah, I need this detail, but how... Either you don't recognize the importance of this detail and what it could become, or you're focusing too much on something that might turn out to be minute, I think, in the bigger picture. So you're being mindful to... Um, you're being advised that you guys really want to think about this thing that you're like focused on. If there is something like, what is the importance of it? Look at the bigger picture is my, is what I'm trying to say. I also see that some of you guys are spending way too much time. And this is what I'm talking about. Loyalty with you guys trying to please other people. All right. Trying to win other people's approvals. So I feel like with you guys, this is a time for you to. Get into your own energy, get into your own strength and focus on you. Don't worry about what other people think. See, the thing is, people love you. So no matter what you do, within reason, of course, we're going to love you anyway. That doesn't matter. Whatever this is. We're going to love you anyway, but you need to understand, even if you have to take a minute to walk away or, or something like that, or even if you want to change your tune, which is what I'm, I'm showing here, People are going to love you regardless. Nobody's going anywhere. The love is there. All right. So, Aries, the cards are telling you that you need to be more decisive about what you want to do. Right? You need to be very focused on what you want to do. This is not about what everybody else thinks. It's about, it's about how you want to do things, how you want to lead. Remember, nobody's going to stop dealing with you. That's not what this is. I feel like this is collectively for you, though. All right, so stop. You, you do what you have to do and go your own way because I see a lot about spirituality out too. So also with you, Aries, I'm showing that there is this, this thing in you, right? If you look at the sequence of these cards, we're going to see where, Aries, you go from actually being too concerned about what other people think and trying to please too many people and you start to neglect yourself. So I feel like with this energy, you're going to come out of it and start doing your own thing, which is what I see. I think, Aries, whatever it is you do, you're in a situation, it might involve a lot of people or whatever, right? I feel like you're in a situation where you are being forced to have two um, opposite elements work together, right? If that makes any sense. So there's two different things, complete opposites, they have to work together. How can I get this to work together? And that's what the chariot is about. The chariot is about you recognizing some things that need to change, some things that you need to incorporate, mesh together. And then that's when these moves come in. All right? So I see with the two different elements, you guys are going to move forward and be successful because you are tenacious. Like there's a lot of tenacity here. There's a lot of pushing forward. Um, so if you guys keep up whatever you're doing, which is responding to these changes that are coming, and doing it with a positive attitude, you're going to end up winning. You're going to win because we see the fortune, the wheel of fortune here for you guys. Now, this talks about change being inevitable. I cannot talk tonight, guys, with the wheel of fortune. So if change is going to happen, it's inevitable. There's nothing you can do about it. But Aries, it's about how do I, do I smile on the way there? Yeah, because that's what's going to get you over this hump where you guys smile. And at the end of the day, this card also points out that you are most likely lucky in love right now. You are lucky in love, but you could also be lucky in all the aspects uh, of your life. But the cards do talk about uh, love. It did point it out. Is it in this card? I, the, this reading? I think it is, but we do see more major arcanas here, right? We see focuses on creativity, um, strengths, communicating, uh, areas of opportunity for communication. I feel like you guys are start, starting to turn this energy around from other people. And focusing it on yourself, which is nothing wrong with that because you need that. But understand that when you take this time to focus on yourself and move different, nobody's going to stop dealing with you. Like, I think it's this internal fear or something like that. We also have the Queen of Wands here. This talks about, listen, right? <coughs> this talks about I have now done everything I need to do. I straightened out and balanced everything that I needed to balance, right? 
I have the two elements that would never mesh together. Now they mesh. Now they're coming together. Because we have the Queen of Wands here. This talks about you being this confident, charismatic, beautiful person. Right? And the cards also say that you guys are probably leaders. I'm showing that there are entrepreneur, entrepreneurs. I cannot speak tonight, guys. Sorry. There's entrepreneurship here. Okay? Whatever it is that you guys are doing, there's going to be some success here because we see that it is in your favor. All right? And this thing about loyalty that you're worried about, well, if I do it this way, uh, you know, yeah. Nobody's going to stop loving you. Do your thing. All right, so let's take a look and see what's going on in love because we do see that you are having some good luck in love. But I do, when I look at this, guys, I see that there was this energy where you were seeking, like I'm trying to find a way. Um, I'm, I'm trying to kind of go with the flow, right? But I'm, I'm focused on everybody else versus making myself happy. And as you move away from that, that's when you gain this fortune, right? In terms of balance, in terms of everything that you want coming to you, um, in terms of success, finances for some of you guys but the queen of wands talks about you being this charismatic person right so so out of this look at this out of this hole here where you had some some doubts some insecurities i don't know what to do i know i have to do something i have to find a way to make these two things work and you did and now with the queen of wands we see that there is success here all right so the funny thing is about these cards is you go from caring about what people think remember like i care too much what folks think and now I don't care what people think. I'm, I'm, I'm confident. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I am happy. And the funny thing is, guys, you were doing this um, in a way that is spiritual, in a way where you serve others and you also serve yourself. So I think there's a lot about finding balance here. Show me love, please. Show 